Did you get in your vehicle this morning and have a check fuel cap message on your Honda? Well, today we're going to talk about the first steps you take when this happens to you. Hi, I'm Kyle with DIY Auto Homeschool, and today we're going to talk about the first steps you need to take if you get a check fuel cap message on your Honda. Now, this is not taking it to a mechanic. This is just yourself to see if you can find and correct the issue. Um... If this doesn't work, then we'll get into having to either uh, diagnose a problem more in depth or possibly take it to a professional, but there's no reason that any of you can't follow these few simple steps just to see if you can resolve the issue yourself. The first step we're gonna take is to do exactly what the message says and to check the fuel cap. Now, this customer, like some of you might, actually lives on a dirt road, and as you can see, they've got a lot of that dust built up here. And what happens is the O-ring in here will tend to get dirt and dust built up on it sometimes. And if it does, or if it doesn't make a good seal, if it's got any dust around there, then... Uh, it can prevent it from making a good seal and prevent this from holding pressure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, this O-ring here and we're going to clean it up and we're going to clean that up and we're going to put this back on and see if we make a good seal. So we'll just take a, a rag and make sure that this is free of any debris or anything that could cause an issue with that O-ring sealing. On that top edge and right here in this lip where the threads actually start and then we'll do the same thing for this this o-ring that sits right down along the edge of this inside there that's what you want to make sure gets wiped off gets cleaned oh it's just spinning just spinning Now, some people will say that you need to come in here and lube this up, um, and that might help, but the thing is, uh, with this being someone who lives on a dirt road, adding lubrication to that is only going to make the problem worse. So we'll just make sure it's clean and dry, and so is the surface it seals against, and make sure it's tight and tight enough. All right, now that sometimes, you know, sometimes that first click, it'll be fine. Sometimes a couple clicks just to make sure. I just wanted to make sure that it's sealed on there nice and tight. Now, your message will not likely go away instantly when you do this. It'll probably still be there when you go and start the vehicle. But if you drive your vehicle pretty regularly, after... Uh, you know, after a day, two, two days at the most, the light or the message should go away. At that point, if it hasn't gone away or if it comes back on, then there may be other things we need to diagnose and check. But this is the first step that you should always take uh, when you get this message. You don't have to run off to the service center, have a mechanic look at it, because honestly, uh, not to say good, bad, one way or the other, but they're probably going to do exactly what I just did and what you could do easily yourself. So if you get a check fuel cap message on your Honda, that is what you need to do before you do anything else to try to resolve the problem yourself.